Life of a Yakuza is not an easy one. Police is always on your tail, trying their best to put you behind the bars, while rival gangs would love to see you disappear. To put it simply, prison or death are the things that Japanese gangsters know better than long life and happy retirement. There's a lot of information and entertainment-centered content which focus on extravagant life of Yakuza members. However, today I'll cover the alternative and more common faith. Funerals. More specifically, Yakuza funerals. What happens when Yakuza members pass away? How does the funeral look like? How such event affects organized crime groups? Before we dive into facts that make Yakuza funerals different from the regular ones, it would be a good time to mention that, in general, about 90% of the funerals in Japan are conducted in a Buddhist style. I will leave a link below where you can read about customs and traditions of Buddhist funerals in case you're interested. Now let's get back to Yakuza funerals. First of all, due to organized crime elimination ordinance regulations, which forbid pretty much any interaction between civilians and Yakuza, funeral directors are not allowed to accept requests from the Yakuza. The reason behind it is that in Yakuza world, funerals are one of the ways to move money around. It comes in the form of financial support which is being provided by Yakuza attending the funeral. Hence, funeral directors are responsible for preventing Yakuza from making money in a such way. In reality, it is pretty hard to know whether the deceased was a Yakuza until it's too late, so that's one of those rules that at least at the current moment are not hard to get around. Another thing making Yakuza funerals different is the fact that police will also attend it without a need of being invited. In 2017, there was a high-profile funeral of Tsumiyo Shikai president Shigeo Nishikuchi, where police was present in order to make sure there are no disputes over the hairs or troubles with other organized crime groups. After all, instances like shooting of two big Inagawa Kai bosses during the funeral itself back in 2001, as well as one of the Kobe Yamaguchi-gumi executives right after the funeral ceremony back in 2020, proves that presence of the police during the Yakuza funerals is not a bad idea at all. Before organized crime exclusion ordinance came into effect, there were funeral homes that held funerals for Yakuza exclusively. Nichiso Senten being one of them, which was known for having ties with Sumiyoshika Yakuza organizations in the 70s. When it comes to money being gifted, which by the way is known as Koden, a lot depends on the blood relations between the Yakuza members. But what's for certain is that amount of money differs significantly when you compare it to the ones gifted during regular non-Yakuza funerals. For example, it is appropriate to gift between 3,000 and 10,000 yen if the funeral is held for neighbors, friends, and parents. The funeral for aunt or uncle requires around 10,000 to 20,000 yen. And when deceased is a sibling, a condolences money amount average between 50,000 to 100,000 yen. As for Yakuza, the average value of condolences for Yakuza funerals are in the millions of yen. Kudokai, a secondary group of the largest Yakuza organization, Yamaguchi Gumi, for example, paid just under 10 million yen for the funeral of the Yakuza. As for the process of Yakuza funeral, it is pretty straightforward. First, Yakuza requests funeral home for the family funeral. Then, if the amount is acceptable or funeral director is not aware of the Yakuza involvement, a request gets accepted and the process of preparation for the funeral begins. Third, if Yakuza organization that uses the services of the funeral home is large and influential enough, police gets mobilized to make sure there are no conflicts during the funeral itself. Then, the funeral is held, during which glittering decorations or luxury cars are prohibited in order to make sure that ceremony stays within the standards of the regular funeral. It wasn't always the case though as it is a well-known fact that many superstars from the world of entertainment have attended the funerals of such large Yakuza bosses as Kazuo Taoka of Yamaguchi Gumi and Hirohiro Inagawa of Inagawa Kai. Despite the fact that such practice would be hard to pull off nowadays, it shows that for many years Yakuza and entertainment industry had, and to some extent still have, close ties. Is there anything unique about gangster funerals in your country? How do they look like? Let me know in the comment section below. See you on the next one.